Hello, welcome to the Capoeira Guide. We are leaving to the east part of Europe. We are going to Hungary, visiting the beautiful capital city Budapest. And there I try to find a Capoeira for you to get some information. Um, what I know, because I was in the, in the beginning, in the, fir the first steps of the Capoeira there, but the last years or the last couple of years not. And I'm looking forward to what happened now and how's the scene in the moment. So here we go. Bye. So welcome to the Capoeira Guide. We are part number four. We are in Budapest in Hungary and I found a female Capoeirista. It's Timmy. Yeah, Thank you nice for being to here. You. <laughs> uh, Timmy, how long are you doing Capoeira? I've been doing Capoeira for 15 years. I started in uh, 2000. Okay. And how long exists the Capoeira here in Hungary? Actually, as I know, it started in 1999 with a Hungarian boy. Okay. And then arrived the uh, um, Brazilian girl called Luciana. Okay. And then came other teachers like Ka uh, sorry, um, Keo and uh, and uh, Formado Marcelo as well was okay. here. And Pimenta arrived. So we had a. a so nice 15 years is the, the story yeah. of, of, of Capoeira. Okay. Um, what, what do you think about the, the scene here? First, we're talking about Budapest. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of Capoeira different groups. How's the, mm -hmm. the community here? Here in Budapest, there are uh, more groups. Mm -hmm. Grupo Capoeira Brazil, uh, Senzala and other, uh, mm -hmm. other groups. How many is like 10, 15, uh, so, so just to have an idea? Uh, I think like, I can say that five minimum. Okay. Maybe more, but okay. I, I, I think five minimum. Okay. And um, um, we do mostly Capoeira Regional. Okay. But during the training, we, we learn about Bangela, we learned about Angola, how does okay. it work. We always had uh, some opportunity to, to see these different styles mm -hmm. uh, at workshops or when we travel around. Okay. So we, 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 we should know all the. All, all kinds of uh, style. Capoeira. But mm -hmm. here exists, uh, like uh, in Budapest, they have some Capoeira Angola groups here? Yes. Uh, so I, I don't think so, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, Senzala, uh, mo they, they do mo mo more, uh, Angola. more Angola. But not uh, only but traditional Angola, Angola no, group. No, okay. No. okay, so the, in general, they, they play ca the modern Capoeira. Modern Capoeira, okay. regional. Mm -hmm. And um, so, Budapest was the first city who starts with Capoeira. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And then uh, people went uh, to other cities like Pécs or Szeged. But unfortunately, this time it uh, doesn't work so much. So the basic is in, in Budapest. Budapest. So there yeah. are not in, the, in the other bigger cities. There, there are no Capoeira. Just sm uh, small, small groups. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not really Capoeira mm -hmm, community. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. I think other groups have uh, has uh, or have. Uh, 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 groups in different cities, mm -hmm. but I, I don't know so much okay. about them. We we meet uh, with other groups mm -hmm. at Batizado. Sometimes we go there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they come. Okay. And uh, and uh, a few years ago we we tried you know to to make the groups together. Mm -hmm. We had a uh, common rodas for everybody. Nice, open hall. Uh, yeah, open rodas. Mm -hmm. so they, they were really really cool. Okay. So I when if some capoeiristas want to travel in Europe, mm -hmm. it's the best to go to Budapest because they have more capoeira. Yeah, like yeah, this, this okay. is the basic uh, okay. mm -hmm, place. And uh, what is interesting is um, how, how the Hungarian people mm -hmm. do capoeira. What is their... The style, I think... The, uh, the difference in the, maybe in the mentality, how they mm -hmm. do capoeira or... And as well, you can talk about how they play capoeira or how I think mm -hmm, both mm -hmm. is interesting. Mm -hmm, yeah. Uh, I think Hungarian people are very open mm -hmm. to learn uh, capoeira 
and of course people who do capoeira they really love it mm -hmm. and uh, we really work hard you know to to get into the movement mm -hmm. we we also like uh, the techniques as well sometimes it's difficult you mm -hmm. know but we keep on training mm -hmm. and our teacher really uh, shows us uh, many many things mm -hmm. And uh, she also, I'm talking about Professor Pimenta, mm -hmm. she also um, motivates us, you know, to be more open, mm -hmm. to be more uh, confident, more brave, because, you know, sometimes we, we lose the confidence, we are a little bit shy, but then that's why we need our teacher, you know, okay. to just... So, so you think the hungry people are a bit shy or it seems they're a bit... Yeah, I yeah, think so. Less I think the so. mentality of yeah. them is like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, what do you think about the technical level in Budapest? There are a lot of advanced mm -hmm. people already after 15 years. Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah, thanks God we have a lot of uh, blue belts. Okay. And uh, we are very proud of the female part because yeah. the, okay. they are already mothers, you know, okay. and they keep on training and they play really good. Okay. I think uh, they, we, we play uh, in a clever way, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, we also try to do acrobatic movements, Floreo. you know, to floreo, okay. to make the, the game uh, nicer. And I think we are at a good level, okay. I can say, because when we travel around, you know, it's a good uh, thing to, to check where you are in Europe. Which level? Or, yeah, yeah, of course, there is this, yeah. this um, in a good way, competition mm -hmm. to see which countries on which level, yeah. which is good. I think we have to observe yeah, it and exactly. to, to, to recognize it. Um, you, you're talking about the female. How is the, uh, the here in, in Budapest? Uh, how the male and yeah, the female, the, the male and the female like numbers. how much can mm -hmm. percent like 50 50 or mm, so? I can say 50 50. Perhaps there are a little bit more uh, uh, male, mm -hmm. but in our group at the advanced level there are a lot of uh, females, okay. maybe more female than uh, okay. men. <laughs> interesting, yeah? That's, yeah, it's really interesting. interesting. <laughs> um, the last question is for capitalists who want to go to Budapest. Let's talk about the city. It's expensive. What, what mm -hmm. do you think? We have some, maybe you have some special advice where the capitalists have to go. Mm -hmm. Definitely come to Budapest <laughs> <laughs> because Budapest is the capital city. It's of a Hungary beautiful city, of and old. it's really, really beautiful. It has its own uh, historical uh, background, and there are a lot of very beautiful places mm -hmm. like uh, Hero Square. Definitely should mm -hmm. see, and uh, around Hero Square there is a. It's called Voida Hunyad Castle. It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. on the top, on the hill? No, no, no it's not, it not, not that this one, one. Okay. not that one. And the other, what you're talking mm -hmm. about, is the castle hill. Okay. It's really beautiful. You can see the Danube, you know, and mm -hmm. you can see over the, the city. It's it's beautiful place. And uh, where we are now, it's called Margaret Island. Mm -hmm. It's also a nice place to just chill, really? to have rest, and the people can play capoeira everywhere because it's really big and the nightlife of Budapest is also very colorful mm -hmm. there are a lot of bars mm -hmm. you can go there by bike you know so it's, it's really nice it, it seems to be a big city but still relaxed the people yeah. are still relaxed they don't mm -hmm. feel running uh, yeah rush, rush rush yeah. hour or something no, like this no the summers are really hot yeah I, that's what was my last <laughs> question we, we, when is a good time to come it's more in spring or in the summer the summers mm -hmm. are really really hot yeah say. it depends uh, what people like mm -hmm. if you like a uh, hot summer and spring also very beautiful mm -hmm. and we have a uh, cold winter with snow well autumn is a little bit rainy so yeah. that's not the best to okay. do the yeah. sightseeing yeah and what i i skipped uh, i think um the yeah uh, the thermal bus yeah we that's a special thing yeah that's thermal yeah bus, so people really like it's good for capoeiristas because yeah. they're all broken <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah the, the thermal uh, healing water exactly, I found. exactly. Yeah, okay. it's very popular to go there okay so thank you very much for the interview thank you i <laughs> hope uh, the couples enjoy and i think uh, yeah, Budapest is a must to, to see it yeah. and to play capoeira there. It's, you should uh, be on your boots list, you know, yeah. Budapest. Okay, great. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>
So hi everybody, welcome to my summary. Um, I think that my colleague Timmy already said a lot of things about uh, capoeira in Hungary. Um, first of all, the capoeira um, in Hungary is still very young, just around 15 years old. Um, the main capoeira scene is in the capital in Budapest and there's nearly no capoeira Angola. Um, the um, prices in Budapest or Hungary are still very affordable if you compare it with other European cities. And I personally think that Budapest is a really beautiful city with beautiful architecture. You can visit the hot springs or just spend some days at the river Donau. So I think it's worth to maybe spend there a short holiday. Yeah, last but not least, guys, we really uh, would like to ask you to share your experiences with us. It would be great if you just um, leave some comments for us. Let us know about the capoeira scene in your cities. Uh, what are your experiences? We really want to um, have your feedback. We, we really want to know what uh, you guys think about Capoeira scene worldwide.